Hi guys, bringing you another video today on a respirator uh, with a half second content. Um, I will be doing more videos of this format as well as the uh, one man's kit video uh, that I did for Troop Serving and Career. I'll be doing more in that style as well. Um, but I thought I'd get back and have a look at, look at another respirator from the collection because we've not had a look at one for a while. So this is the S6 in the Mark II Haversack set up for the 1980s. Uh, and it's a 1980s Haversack and we'll do as we normally do, have a look at the actual respirator itself and then we'll have a look at the Haversack and contents once we've done that. Okay, so here we have the respirator. Uh, it's a standard S6. Um, the reason it looks a little bit different is I have a microphone adapter um, fitted to the front there. Unfortunately, I don't have um, the Klansman microphone here that fits on the front of the, the clip there. Um, I will show that in another video. I'll do another short video on that because I don't have it here with me right now. Uh, but yeah, pretty standard S6, as you can see. Um, green head harness and everything's in quite good condition there. Uh, I think this is a 70s dated example. Yes, 1972. So, you know, eight years old by the start of the 80s, but would still have been been issued, still nothing wrong with them. Uh, this one's in fairly good condition, there's no, quite often you find there's a little tear there, that, that has occurred in the um, in the rubber, just inside the, the face piece there, obviously the cushion and everything and the adjustment valve there. Um, it's in overall very good condition, the rubber's in nice condition, um, say so the, uh, just get the filter off here and we can have a look at that. Now this is the later pattern of filter used with the S6. And I was looking at this the other day and thinking, where do I know that from for? And I'm thinking, yeah, it looks just like the symbol, well, very similar to the symbol for the Galactic Republic in Star Wars, which is a really random little thing that came to me when I was getting everything together for this. Uh, and that's dated 82, as you can see there. The body of it is exactly the same as the earlier filter, which I have here. You can see the actual shape of the filter is different. What's different is the, the cap that's been crimped on the end there. Now, the early filters, as you can see here, had one large intake hole in the center and it was recognized during the 70s that this is a problem it's easily blocked so if you're in a in a foxhole or a trench or something and you lean up against a wall and fall asleep you've blocked the hole you know a rough soil you, you very easily block a single hole whereas this the later example has the holes are in these little crenellated section around the side here each of these there's a hole on each side and it's well split so if you cover it up actually very difficult to block the air intake from the hole, uh, very difficult to block all those holes and therefore block the air intake, so it's a much better design from that point of view. As far as I'm aware, the contents are the same, the actual filter itself is the same. The difference is in the, the air intake, and of course these were issued, this is a, an 80s example, I believe these were issued very late 70s, um, right the way through to the, uh, intro well, through the late 80s and the introdu introduction of the S10, and these are seen used with the S10 along with the later plastic filter. Uh, that's associated directly with the S10. So yeah, um, that's the the filter fitted to this mask for my 80s uh, 80s sort of setup for the haversack. So we'll put the respirator to one side now, and we'll have a look at the haversack and the haversack contents. So here we have an 80s Mark II S6 haversack, which is very similar to the Mark II shown in my video of the 70s setup I have, uh, late 70s, mid to late 70s setup that I've already done a video on. This one, however, is dated in the flap here. Let's come off of it. 1981, which you should be able to see there, uh, just in there. Um, it's uh, obviously respirator have a second NBC. It's exactly the same design as the 70s dated example I showed. Uh, the material is very slightly different. Obviously, the edging's not in that brown nylon. It's now in a green. Otherwise, it's identical. Uh, in terms of contents, I have a few more contents for this one. Some of the accessories I didn't show in the other video. Uh, but we'll get on, we'll, we'll have a look at the, the normal accessories first. First of all, we'll start with the side pouch, which carries the um, decontamination kit, personal number one, Mark 1, which is the uh, pads impregnated with um, uh, Fuller's Earth, essentially, a new block bang rub um, with these to, to decontaminate, and that's a 1983-dated pack there, as you can see. I can get the light to shine on it, so the sun's just coming low through the, the window now. This is the problem with trying to get videos done in the winter but you can see at the top there the date. So that goes in the side pouch there. Opening up the main compartment here, we have the decontamination kit, personal number two, Mark One, which is a bottle of Fuller's Earth. So I'm getting that in the glare of the light again, but uh, hopefully you can see that okay. So that goes in the main compartment here in the haversack, and this is 
that goes in this compartment here. You also have a, a book of de detector paper, which is a number two Mark II 83 dated pack. Um, so again, mid 80s, which is what this is sort of set up for. Um, this is obviously just a training device, but the, the training device for the uh, combo pen, which has uh, no drugs or anything in it, as you can see there. This product no drug uh, contains no drug product or needle. Uh, it's just a white plastic um, little thing that, you, you know, when you push it, it works. I'll, I'll show you if I take the, kick the cap off, I'll fire it because I have the reset tool. And you can see when you press it against the leg, which I believe is where these were to be administered, um, that would obviously show you that it's fired and it's just a training device for that point of view. And there's a little sugar tablet. Uh, I can get the cap off here that you would also take. Um, you'll see that in the end there. And that's still on there, which is nice to have. Um, so it, it's a good demonstration of what was carried. You would have three of those. You can see there are three compartments for them here in the haversack. In addition to that, um, there's a spare filter, which is part of the normal equipment you would expect to have with the haversack. Which is a spare, I think this is 84, this one. Yep, 1984. Uh, it's the same, the later type of S6 filter there. In addition to this, uh, there's the anti-dim, which is, as I say, it's always odd that these were issued with a, such late respirators, but this is actually a very late production one. I date on here, uh, 80, 83. So this is actually a 1983 dated, uh, and considering this design essentially didn't change from that into, issued in the late 1930s, um, just a cloth with the anti-dimming compound, which is apparently, obviously there's a lot of talk of asbestos and filters on there, uh, respirators and the carcinogenic properties of other chemicals that are in them but this is uh, the anti-dimming compound is also apparently carcinogenic so you can't get away from it with this stuff um, but you can see it actually has an NATO stock number on it so anti-dimming kit mark 7 it's basically the same as the mark 5 issued in world war 2 and then you've actually now this late example has a NATO stock number underneath so that's carried in the loop in the bottom of the haversack here as you can see the extra bits i have in this compared with the 70s setup is this, which is, should suggest the haversack at least was Royal Navy issue, as you can see, uh, 16th of November 1982 HMS Sultan Armoury, and it's a test um, record card, which has not been filled in, which came with the haversack, which is rather nice. I think I put the respirator in this haversack so it didn't come as a complete set. And also, um, this card, which, get it out of the glare of the light, uh, is uh, action in the event of attack by chemical agents and care of respirator so it's a card essentially giving you brief instructions on chemical attack and how to look after the respirator um, as you can see there and then on the back it should also have your name rank religion etc written down there so it's the haversack per you know the owner of the haversack their personal details the owner of respirator well user of the respirator um, so that came as well and finally in this pouch uh, there was an, an, an id disc which is a obviously second war type um, fiber Early, early examples of these little discs. Now, here's an interesting one for you. The early examples of these little discs were made of uh, vulcanized asbestos as well. So, you know, you, <laughs> there's just another one for you. Um, but these, I don't know whether they're made of that by this point. This was, I've seen examples of respirators with these clipped onto the, the face piece in some way or another to actually identify whose respirator it was. So that's presumably what this is for. And I can't make it RP, RD man, don't know uh, what that entails, but it came with the haversack. And then the very last thing uh, in here, which is in its own separate little compartment, I know a lot of people get confused what this extra little compartment here is for. This is the optical inserts. Well, the actual spe the insert spectacles, they are referred to as spectacles, case spectacles, Mark V there. And these are a set of S6 spectacle inserts with a cleaning cloth from Rayner, uh, dispensing opticians there. And these fit into The respirator so I can't remember the I'm going to try these for one second prescription actually isn't that far off my own it's a little bit fuzzy but I could wear them in theory uh, in the respirator but they fit in the respirator just above you'll see there's those series of holes just above the nasal cup and they slot in to there if I can get them in I'll do off camera because it's a little bit fiddly but they fit into the respirator like that and obviously you can um, adjust the height because there are various different holes at different heights and they, they are on a hinge so they are 
flexible as you can see um, that they will you can adjust the height that they sit inside the respirator face piece depending on where you want them so that's included in this set is this is basically where I store them is is within this haversack the obviously the radio um, microphone attachment and so on is perhaps not suitable for a Royal Navy issue haversack but as the various components came with the haversack the the, the um, record card and the HMS Sultan um, uh, what is it again? I can't remember what it's called now. Um, yeah, the anti-gas respirator 12 monthly test record card. Because that came with the haversack, I wanted to keep it in there. So there it is. Uh, so there we have it. The uh, 1980s setup for an S6 respirator with the later type of filter and so on and the haversack contents. Um, obviously, by the late 80s, the S10 was coming in to replace the S6. Uh, and uh, when I have time, I'll do a video on that as well. Um, and we'll do have a look at some earlier respirators as well at some point uh, and other bits of kit as well and I do have some of the as I said before I do have more of the videos I do have uh, plans to make more of the videos looking at one man's kit but as I always say I hope you found that interesting and until next time bye for now